All right, you're back with the most shadow banned man in the land. And on this video, and oh, and by the way, today is 22 January 2020. And uh, this video, we're going to uh, touch on a lot of different topics. I got my cue card ready so I don't um, miss out on anything I want to discuss. So the election front here in the United States is not looking good for the Democrats. I think most of the uh, people that are, um, or the individuals that are going for the Democratic nomination are not going to be able to beat Trump. I think the um, only individual that has a slim chance of doing it is uh, Joe Biden, but we know from his tenure in, in the Obama administration that there won't be um, much of uh, any difference between, especially when it comes to foreign policy between uh, he and Trump. They're both arch Zionists. They'll do anything for Israel, like no matter how depraved, corrupt, insane, or devastating it is to the to the rest of the world. So, but um, with that being said, I still think uh, if if it were possible, uh, you know, since the Democrats have to um, pretend as though they're against war, or at least they're against the insane or the 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 complete insanity, they're not for. They're not against insanity, but um, total, complete insanity, I think, uh, is, is more appropriate. But I don't see any anyone else because what they're going to do is uh, scare if, if, if Bernie gets the nomination or everyone's favorite Hindu uh, congresswoman, uh, Tulsi Gabbard, if they get the nomination, they'll be considered, uh, they'll, well, the media will go along with it, but they'll hype them up as being too left-leaning, and they'll do another red scare. They'll say, oh, they're socialists. Even though both of these individuals aren't aren't really socialists, they're more in the uh, social Democrat category, but most Americans are too stupid to know the difference, so that won't help out much. And uh, for that reason, they don't stand a chance. Well, also, and Tulsi's also a woman. There's still uh, a lot of people that are too sexist to vote for a woman as the president. Uh, and ditto for Elizabeth Warren. <laughs> so if, if either one of them, or Klobuchar, you can add her to it too. So, And, and then you have um, Pete Booty Judge, as I like to call him. <laughs> I know it's Booty Judge, but I prefer to call him Booty Judge because <laughs> it just it sounds funny. And um, it matches with his uh, sexual orientation. But anyway... <laughs> Um, yeah, he won't win for that reason. They'll use the, um, the, they'll, they'll, once again, they'll approve all the evangelical Christians and the many other Christians to be the super hypocrites that they are because, um, instead of voting, they'll, they'll play the whole Buddha judge as, um, or booty judge is not Christian. And, uh, they'll use that against them, even though Trump isn't Christian. I mean, I mean, tr Trump might as well, and, and there's a rumor going around in the alternative media that Trump actually converted to Judaism. I mean, if he hasn't, he might as well. I mean, everything he says and does is, is just totally for Israel <clears throat> and the people who follow uh, Israel's state religion. So, yeah, and, and in addition to that... Um, when pressed, this guy couldn't name one verse from the Bible because when he was originally fooling the Christians, he actually said his favorite book was the Bible. But um, this guy couldn't cite one verse. I mean, this is absurd. Uh, he, for example, when they asked him what his favorite part of the Bible was, he he said the entire thing is just a great book. Uh, no, no one specific passage, but I mean, even the uh, the the most lapsed Christians know the Lord's Prayer. You know, our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come. Thou. He couldn't name that. He couldn't say any of the uh, verses from King David, or the Psalms, you know, the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He couldn't say any of the Mosaic verse. I mean, the guy couldn't re like, recite one Bible verse but the Christians, both of, and, and let's not even talk about his morality or his personal character. This guy is the, the Manhattan pussy grabber. So, but the Christians voted for him, though. You know, in the meantime, uh, let's, let's just not talk about the, the hypocrisy anymore. I think that's, that's, you know, that's enough right there. 
So Trump isn't much of a Christian either, but that's not going to stop him from playing that card. So, um, yeah, the best shot for the Democrats is Joe Biden. Uh, I don't think he'll win. And, and, unless um, one thing that could happen is that the people in Ohio could get smart enough and ditto for the ones in uh, Pennsylvania and Michigan and realize that Trump is not going to bring manufacturing back in a significant way. As a matter of fact, Lordstown, Ohio, you know, Trump bragged about saving their jobs and ultimately their jobs still got shipped overseas. After the corporation got a huge tax cut, they still shipped the jobs overseas. I believe it was GM, General Motors, Lordstown, Ohio. He didn't save those jobs. And that's just another of the many examples as to why trickle-down economics does not work. Okay, moving along. Uh, and if Trump does get reelected, which I think he will, that's my prediction, there will be a war with Iran because let's remember, the Trump presidency is really Benjamin Netanyahu's presidency, which is why I'm not going to even uh, do the courtesy anymore of referring to Donald Trump as the president because uh, in reality, Netanyahu is the actual president of the United States and the Likud party uh, is actually in charge. And they've gotten everything they wanted. They even um, they haven't announced it yet. But guess what? We get to pay for the for New Palestine. We get to pay for a, a giant bridge that connects the Gaza Strip to the um, West Bank. We also get to pay for the quote unquote Palestinian security, which is just another protection racket. Which we'll talk more about. Um, inshallah, we'll talk more about. Um, this in, in later videos this evening. I plan on doing at least two more. But uh, the long and short of it is that uh, we get to pay for New Palestine. Um, the Israelis, are, and, and not just us, the Israelis are going to collect money from around the region and the world. China's going to help pay for this bridge. So the Israelis are, are large and in charge. Not only are they controlling the United States, but to a, to a great degree also uh, Russia and China. I mean, you just... The, the evidence is, uh, as I said, the proof is in the pudding, but if you pull, pull back the curtain and look into these um, you know, political happenings in Southwest Asia, it becomes more obvious. I mean, because um, another thing, well, actually, let me just deal with this now. Egypt submitted itself fully to Israel. They've discovered a lot of natural gas in Egypt, but instead of Egypt selling its own natural gas or using its own natural gas, they're going to pay for Israeli natural gas to be, uh, you know, um, uh, piped into uh, Egypt from Israel. The Turks, who I've also, um, you know, hammered in the past, they're proving to be the good Zionists they've always been by stealing Syrian oil via vis-a-vis -vis the Kurds, vis-a-vis -vis the United States occupation of eastern Syria, uh, east of the Euphrates in the northeastern section. All that oil is being shipped through Turkey and being delivered. Well, I shouldn't say all, but a significant amount of that oil is being delivered to Israel via Turkey. So thanks for being the good Zionist uh, sock puppets you, you are, Turkey. Thank you. We tip our hat to you. Thanks for being the sellouts. Just like the Al Saud crime family. And speaking of that, Apparently, Jeff Bezos was dumb enough to open up a uh, video from the Prince of Saudi Arabia. That's a uh, no-go. You don't do that. Prince of Saudi Arabia is a vicious, sociopathic, slash psychopathic thug. And he has help from the Israelis. This is um, software called Pegasus that uh, the Saudis use to spy on their um, their citizens and to keep them under control and to use bots to harass their dissidents. Not only bots to harass them, but they track all... I mean, it's just like the NSA, except for it's even more sinister because the, uh, the satanic Semites, that is the Sodomites of Arabia, the Al Saud crime family of Lawrence Arabia, are colluding with the Israelis with this Pegasus software to, again, harass and control their subjects. They don't have citizens. Those people actually subject. They're subjected to the uh, Al Saud crime family. 
God help them because they don't want to help themselves and um, there's no help coming from the outside for the most part. The United States is complicit in the uh, brutalization and suppression of the Saudi people. But um, I've said, I stated this a while back um, in my earlier videos. The United States has chosen sides in a religious war and they've chosen the side of uh, Salafism for the Arabian Peninsula and Zionism for the Levant. Uh, so they they allow and they actually help uh, oppress the Shia min minority in, in some of the countries, but also the majority, which brings me to Iraq. Another reason it's going to be a war with Iran is so the United States can ensure the um, balkanization of Iraq. Actually, the, only the Kurdish region will be broken off, I believe, uh, because the Sunnis will be cut. The Sunnis want an independent state in Iraq, but which is why when the uh, parliament voted, most of the Sunnis, not all, but most of the Sunnis sided with um, voting against the United States leaving Iraq because they think the United States is going to partition Iraq on their behalf. But what the United States is going to do probably is break off Kurdistan and keep the Sunnis um, within Iraq to keep sabotaging Iraq. It's unfortunate that the uh, Sunnis inhabit the part that's near the Syrian border because my suggestion would have been to allow the Sunnis to have their rump state, but to um, but that 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 would uh, hurt the resistance because then there wouldn't be uh, contact between the borders of Iraq and Syria. So for that reason, I think that, that uh, Iraq will be balkanized, but only the Kurdish region will be broken off. Oh yeah, and Trump is actually open openly displaying the United States as a protection racket for the Al Saud crime family. Not only them, but also the South Koreans. He said the South Koreans are paying $500 million. I forget the amount of time it takes. I don't know if it's an annual payment. I think it's an annual payment, like yearly. But the South Koreans are paying that for protection. Saudi Arabia, according to um, Netanyahu's Aaron boy, Trump, is also paying for protection. They're paying a, a cool billion dollars. And he said they've already given $500 million. Not to mention they prop up the military industrial complex by buying our weapons. And just to show that I'm not biased, and, the, and I, I say the Democrats are complicit in this as well, uh, during the Obama administration, the Yemen war started, and uh, the Yemen war only it, it actually started and intensified because once the Saudis realized it wasn't going to be a quick uh, two-month or three-month event, the United States allowed them, under the Obama administration, allowed them to double down on their war crimes. But Trump kept that policy going and actually gave the Saudis even more money and voted against uh, a Congress uh, bill and the Republicans helped, but the Democrats finally got off their butt. But see, the thing is, the Democrats knew that the Republicans were going to reject it, which is why it was a token gesture. I hope you people get smart enough to realize that the Democrats and the Republicans pretend to be at each other's throats. They actually are playing against the WWE. It's a script that they're following, and everything they do is a pretense, especially if it's something that's seemingly going to benefit the general population. <laughs> it's usually not. But that's it for this video. I approached my time limit. Uh, thanks for watching. God willing, see you in another video.